Okay, this video is a read aloud for the Wednesday article that I'm assigning you on December 23rd called Winter is Such a Cool Time to See the Stars Twinkle. There are a couple words to know for this article before we dive in. So let's take a look at these first. Stargazers are people who watch the stars like a hobby. They might have telescopes, that kind of thing, but that's their hobby. They like to look up at the stars. Moisture is the degree of dampness or wetness of something. So a piece of paper has less moisture than a wet paper towel. Atmosphere is the layer of gas or air that surrounds the planet. And the last one is axis. That is the degree of tilt that something has. So if you need those four words, they're back on the canvas page. page. And without further ado, I am going to jump right into reading you this article about winter. It's such a cool time to see the stars twinkle. This is a harder text than we normally read. This is 930 Lexile level. But I think you're going to find that with some preparation, you'll understand most of it, if not all of it. So, some nights, stars are easier to see than on other nights. For many years, stargazers in the U.S. noticed that the stars seem brighter in the winter. There are three main reasons for this. Let's take a look. If you're thinking about the central idea, there it is. Stargazers in the U.S. notice that stars seem brighter in winter. That's the central idea. Then they tell us that they're going to tell us about the three main reasons. So, moisture in the air. First, the amount of moisture in the air affects how bright stars look. Just as it can be hard to see out of glasses that have water on them, it can be hard to see into the night sky when there is too much moisture in the air. There is almost always some level of moisture in the air. Tiny amounts of water in the air, called water particles, can make the sky look hazy, blurry, or out of focus. There tend to be a lot more water particles in the air during the warmer months. Those particles can make the sky foggy or cloudy. Even when the air looks clear, the moisture in it can make the stars look dimmer at night. Diane Turnshek is an astronomer, which is the scientist who studies the planets, stars, and space and she works at Carnegie Mellon University in Pennsylvania. She said the air is drier in the U.S. in December, January, and February. This is because when it is colder, there are fewer water particles in the air, kind of because they've frozen out of the air. The next section is the temperature of the atmosphere. A second reason that stars look brighter in the winter has to do with the temperature of the atmosphere. This is the layer of gas that surrounds the planet. It can affect whether the stars look dull or bright. The atmosphere has pockets of cooler and warmer air. Even on very clear nights, some of the atmosphere is cooler, and some of the atmosphere is warmer, said Turncheck. Light from the stars travels through space until it reaches our atmosphere. Then the light passes through the pocket of cool and warm air. This bends and shifts the light, making it change directions. This process is known as refraction, so that's the bending and shifting of light as it moves through air, kind of like moving through a magnifying glass. In the case of stars, refraction is what makes them appear to dance or twinkle. A third reason it's easier to see stars in winter has to do with the position of the planet. The Earth's axis is like an imaginary line that runs through the center of the Earth from top to bottom. The Earth spins around this axis. In the winter, the northern hemisphere where the U.S. is located is tilted on the Earth's axis in such a way that there are more bright stars available or visible. Wow, I totally misread that word, huh? Finding famous constellations. Winter is the best time to see the constellation Orion. A constellation is a group of stars that forms a shape in the sky. The easiest way to find Orion in the sky is to find three very bright stars that make up a straight line. Their line is known as Orion's Belt. The Orion constellation also has two of the brightest stars in the winter sky named Betelgeuse and Rigel. Once you find Orion's Belt, you can follow it down towards the horizon or the line where the surface of the Earth looks like it meets the sky. There you'll see another famous star called Sirius, which is the brightest star visible in the, in the night sky. If you have a camera that can take photos of stars, be sure to snap some during the winter months when they are at their brightest. So there's three reasons that stars appear to be brighter. The position of the planet, the tilt, the temperature cooling it down, and also not as much water in the atmosphere. 